she was in an immense amount of pain and I knew that I had to bring her to the emergency room because something was wrong. So when we did an ultrasound, which is what we normally do in the initial workup of appendicitis, um, the appendix looked fine, but we did find some other you know, complex issues going on in her abdomen, including a mass in her kidney. We have to save her life and stop the internal bleeding. Once we found out that it was not appendicitis, then the next person that we usually communicate with is the surgeon. We go over the imaging with them, and then at that point, the hematologist and the oncologist get involved in the treatment plan. He took her to the operating room and found that she had Wilms tumor, which is also known as nephroblastomatosis. I really was shocked, though. I wasn't expecting to be told that she had cancer. My life stopped. It was just uh, devastating. Devastating blow to the family. It really was. They made us feel and know that our whole family was a part of this process and that they would be there for us every step of the way. They've given us every bit of information, every bit of, of, of hope that we need. Sometimes there's um, nothing as real as actually seeing it. You know, you can be told and you can imagine, you have all these images in your head, you know, but it's not until you actually review the images, it kind of hits home and you can then process, you know, what's going on and then we're there. They took the time to explain to me exactly what I was looking at, what I, what I was seeing and what they were seeing and what they wanted to see and what they were going to do about it. All we do is read pediatric imaging all day long. You know, that's what we're trained to do, that's what our passion is. Dr. Kramer comes in to talk about Giselle. Um, you know, we review the images and, you know, she catches me up on what she's doing and, you know, how she's doing and, you know, it's really nice. We give them the facts, but we also provide hope because there is hope and that it's not going to be easy, but, you know, we're going to get them through it. The support that they've shown my family is, uh, Second to none. Dr. Kramer is a lifesaver. They all are. But she holds me so gently in this process. I love her. It's more than a friend. She takes care of my daughter. And me. We all provide that reassurance uh, as a team that they feel that we're just we're their rock, we're their, you know, their backup. We're gonna catch them if they fall. We're so blessed that when we needed it, this place was here. They've built up a, a trust with us uh, over the years that uh, second to none means everything to me and my family. She's doing amazing. She is in remission and she's fighting. Where we are today, to where we were two years ago when this all started is uh, it's such a, a huge step forward and uh, I love Joe DiMaggio's for that. We're so grateful that they've come to us, that they've chosen us, that they've entrusted us with her care. I think everyone that works here walks through that door and suddenly you know you feel like you know you can change the world.